Hi, it's uh, Rowan Beckett here, and we've got uh, Brickvention 2021. It's Two. 2022. We're 2022. Already. And this is our great ball contraption layout for this year. We've got four builders here. We've got Aaron, Joel, Owen, and myself. And we've put together all these modules here. We've got around 56 today, and I'll do a bit of a run through of all of them. Let's go. Okay, this one here is the card and lift. Uh, so it's been a reliable module for a few years. It's one that does have instructions that people can build. Moving on is my Queen's Tower and Volcano. This is a ball pump. So balls get pumped up the volcano lava and then roll down the tower. We've got a few basic rotating modules here. Sometimes it's interesting to use uh, elements like technique uh, uh, helicopter blade rotors. As a bit of a joke, we have a start and finish, because people often ask where the start and finish is of our layout, but it's a loop, so it can be anywhere you like. Moving on, we have my world's tallest ball construction. Uh, this is one that I built for a competition a couple of months ago, and I decided to go nuts and go four metres high. I'm claiming this is the tallest one, and it has been working reliably for the last day or so. It takes balls all the way up the chain. Uh, we have a web camera at the top, so everyone can get a view of the in the distance. Moving on, we've got to a, uh, another small little ball pump here and to my old tower. So this is the one that I built several years ago that I used to think was huge. Uh, it's now the baby of the family. Bit of a space theme on this one uh, with the Saturn V rocket uh, for the down. Going on to a basketball shooter module. This uses the old mini pigs with the springs in their legs. And they get pulled back and they will shoot a few shots. If they're lucky, they'll get them in. Next is a Duplo module that I uh, built just the other night. Uh, this uses the educational Duplo parts which have gears. A scooping module here. Uh, most of these ones I've built myself, but some of these others um, Owen has built. So this one here is a purely Technic studless model. Just a little conveyor, but it's very reliable. And another conveyor that goes a bit like a suspension bridge. I always like adding a lot of the, the basic primary colours to GBC. Uh, this one, Spiral Curves, has been popular for a few years. And this one is like a little mini roller coaster. Another one quite popular too. Again, this is a ball pump, so one ball in and one ball out. Archimedes screw here uses the Technic tubing. Form a nice spiral, and these are inverted arches that people would normally use for bridges or buildings. Sometimes I'll take a design from someone else, which is a single module, and I'll replicate it so it just becomes a little bit bigger. These couple from a designer called Sawyer in New Zealand. He uh, can build some interesting mechanisms. This one's probably running a little bit too fast. We use the train, the old style train controllers here to modify the speed of them. So we can adjust them so they're just at the right speed we need them to work at. Owen from Canberra has built these next few modules and uh, many of them are often powered by a single motor. He has a connecting system between them all. All sorts of interesting designs using the parts in different ways. This is one of his newest ones with an interesting little lifting mechanism. So it lifts the ball and releases it. Even two balls. Interesting one here, it doesn't use a single gear, so that just uses motors and rubber bands to drive the main wheel. We sometimes set challenges to ourselves when we're building, so it's a bit fun to do something a bit different. This one here has an old Mindstorm system and it actually has a counter in it. So we are currently up to 
537 balls for the last hour or so. So that will be running for the rest of the weekend, so we'll know how many balls have passed through the whole layout. Some of these modules have existed for seven or eight years, I'd reckon. Uh, this white one is a couple of months shy of a decade old. Ten years old and is still running. This blue bridge I know has been packed up and has travelled around the world. So it just went to what, Brick Fair or Brick World? Both of those. Both of the shows in the USA. And has been packed up in suitcases and brought home again. It's been around Australia several times. Conveyor belts are a very common uh, usage in great ball construction. They're a very good easy starter and generally a pretty reliable idea. Joel built this one. This was an original design and he's even made instructions for it that other people can also um, use. There's a little bit of a slowdown on this section, but there's some balls coming through here. This one is running a Mindstorm system, so it will count up a certain amount of balls into the um, balloon pieces and then rotate them around to release them. Add some more balls into the layout. Even some of the basic modules, like a, a just a downward ramp, are, are really popular. People just love watching the balls come down. The next series of modules are in this corner of the table are by a Japanese builder called Akiyuki. Uh, Aaron has built most of these ones here. Very intricate modules, very interesting to watch. The invisible list is one of the more famous ones. It really is just amazing to watch the antennas move the balls up there as if they are going up by an invisible hand. There are instructions for all these online that you can build. They do require a lot of parts. I think this one is probably at least a couple of thousand pieces. The ball factory is one of the other one of the most famous ones, uh, one of the early ones from many years ago. It requires a lot of timing to get all the gears working, and uh, so far this particular one has run pretty well this last day or so. It's great to watch. This next one is a train loader. So the train itself has the motor in it and it is driving the mechanism. So as soon as the train leaves, the mechanism stops and the train goes on its own. It changes the points, reverses itself and goes back to the next one and it will unload itself and then continue back. Fork to fork is uh, really cool to watch. Looks like it's a very reliable one too. These ones are really mesmerising to watch. It's amazing just seeing people stand here, their mouths slightly open, just watching it and not moving on. <laughs> Even I have to catch myself sometimes, even though I've seen them here for many years, they're still really interesting to watch. This one's called Planet, so aligning the wheels alternately and having the balls go between the antennas. On to another one called Filtered Rotors. So these use mini uh, seats in some of the sections here to hold the balls in. This is a reasonably new design. You know what it's called? Staggered. Staggered lid. Some of them use a very similar input stirring mechanism and that's simply because it's just been reliable and it works. Um, you need to have a way to agitate the balls because balls have a way of sitting in a spot and sometimes they sit there until another ball knocks them in. This one only operates when there's a ball in the, um, in the gripper. This is almost an organic uh, feel to it as it rotates around. It just feels like it's alive as all the parts just move around.
some of them are quite simple. This is really just a single part moving up and down, which increments the balls on the cheese wedges. And yet others are infinitely intricate with a, you know, hundreds of gears inside the mechanism with these catch and spin robots. So they only operate when there's a ball in their hands. If there's no ball there, they don't go anywhere, don't do any work. As soon as the ball's in there, it kind of jams the gears and forces them to rotate. This is another one uh, that I built myself, uh, five tilted rotors. It's a more of an upgrade on their previous tilted rotors one. A lot more stable and reliable. Uh, but again, anyone with the parts and the inclination can just uh, follow the instructions and build. Uh, this was a simpler module that I turned into six arms. So this is my own design, but based on a concept from a from Apple Sometimes you just get the idea for a, a design and you've got to wing it and do your own thing. So it's hard to take full credit for it when you know, someone else has come up with a concept that you sort of uh, reinvent it. And we're back at the start. So that was a very successful run. Um, we'll have to time it by looking at the video lately. And I hope you enjoyed this. Brickvention 2022, Melbourne, Australia. Great ball contraption. Thanks.